Hi, I am starting this channel to talk a bit about my story and my experience as a near-death survivor. It's something that I think I can share and maybe help other people who might be going through something similar. I wasn't born looking like this. My face is permanently like this as the result of a car accident. And even though this is something that happened 20 years ago, actually it happened in 2000, so at the time of this recording it was 22 years ago, I still get asked on a semi-regular basis what happened to me. I notice that people are staring at me sometimes. I am often asked very personal questions or what feels like very personal questions to me because people are curious and it can happen at any time in all kinds of situations where it's unexpected. It's something that comes up in job interviews or when meeting people for the first time. Sometimes it happens when I'm running errands or my head is in a totally different space and it's not even something that I'm thinking about. I I live with my face like this now for a long time. It, it took eight years of surgeries to get my face to be to this point. And it's not something that I focus on, but I'm not necessarily very comfortable showing my full face straight on. So this is something that's a bit of a personal challenge to me. But if in doing so it helps just one other person feel that they're not alone in what they're going through, then I think it's worth sharing. I only have one eye. This eye is a prosthetic, so I can't blink. And I don't have proper eyelids. I think there may be some newer plastic surgeries that I could do at some point in my life to fix some of the scars. I think that as a young woman, as a teenager, as a child, like many young women, I felt I wasn't pretty enough or didn't look the best that I, I could be. And then when my face became disfigured, all I really wanted was to look like myself. And still to this day, I don't know that I'll ever truly get used to this half of my face looking the way that it does. I just choose not to put my attention to it. So when attention is called to it and it's not something that's on my mind because it has been over 20 years, it, it brings me back to the realization that I wear my traumas or some of them on my face. And it took me some time in life experience to realize everybody has trauma in their life. At some point, in some way or shape, we just don't always tend to see it. And when you, at least in my experience, live with a facial disfiguration, people tend to want to share their stories with you. So I've been approached countless times by strangers who also want to share a bit about what they've gone through and you know that, that can be overwhelming at times but it's I'm grateful people feel that confidence to be able to share the hard things that they went through maybe that might not be visible because their scars are somewhere else on their body or they were able to make a full recovery aesthetically 
Um, but many people live with life-altering things that happen internally that we don't see. We don't know what people are going through in their minds, in their hearts, in their spirit. I just tend to wear a lot of mine on my face. So I think in the 22 years that this has been presented to me as a, a challenge in my life that I have perceived to be treated differently at times or have struggled to integrate, I guess you could say, into a mainstream expected type of lifestyle. Um, I think I have a lot to say about that and to share about that and as well as the details of how this physically happened, my experiences in the hospital, the many surgeries that I've had. I've had uh, all kinds of transplants, hair transplants, fat transplants, uh, bone transplants, uh, well, just, just one bone transplant, and uh, skin grafts, and dermabrasion facials, and eyelid reconstruction, and I, I had my eye, which was severely damaged for a long time, before I had it removed. That was my last surgery that I've had in 2008. And life goes on. I will continue to share on this channel. And if anybody comes across this and wants to know anything specific that might be beneficial to to knowing and for me to share, I'm open open to to do that. Until next time, bye.